My stomach is like so tense. You guys keep your cool. We got this. I don't know how you do it. We got this. Trust. Okay. Trust. trust. It's all about okay, trust. go pike's peak marathon 2021 time to tighten some screws up on the mountain hold on hold on you better believe it hit it boom float the mountain don't fight the mountain all right everyone my race strategy gonna let loose i'll let the sun come up and then more on that in a second uh i gotta let the sun come up and then get you my race strategy for the pike's peak marathon 2021. Now, yesterday, remember I gave my top 10 tips for uh, my peak race preparation. Step number six was sleep, sleep, and more sleep, okay? Well, last night, slept about six and a half hours, so not as much as I thought I might get, but a little, you know, a little tip of the day right off the start here is that because I woke up earlier than expected today, I know for a fact, and this is just experience, everyone, that by, I'm going to say 7.30 or 8 p.m. tonight, so I, in real time, so Saturday night, uh, so last night for all of you, I will be tired, meaning I'll fall asleep, and then on race day, I always like to wake up three hours before the gun goes off, before the start. So the start of the Pikes Peak Marathon for everybody is 7 a.m., mountain time okay i believe i thought i heard they might do a live stream at the very least at the start and then maybe at the top of the mountain uh actually if anybody has any information on that i'll try and confirm in the description below bottom line thanks for being here thanks for tuning in it's time to let loot time to put all that vertical oh that bloody vest oh that 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 vest i'm not gonna forget it and yes um, well, I'll just tell you right now, I'm going to write some things on my arm today with a permanent marker. That's part of my tradition for peak racing. Just a reminder of, uh, the pain, like when I go into the pain cave, reminders to push through and to embrace the pain cave, embrace the suffering. Um, I'll just tell you, one of them is going to be power. Okay, power, P-O-W-E-R, that vest, that vest, that vest. Uh, that was a big, big key component to my training. And now, race day strategy, Pikes Peak Marathon 2021. It's here, unbelievable, okay? All right, let's get a little, get a little coffee, get a little bobo, all right? Mm. Yum, 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 mm. So excited, so excited. Have a great race. If you're racing today, have a great race. Enjoy every step, man. Little maintenance before race day. Little maintenance. Okay, let's get you this race strategy for the Pikes Peak Marathon 2021 about to happen everybody we are you know I guess yeah less than 24 hours very exciting I'm gonna go grab my bags make sure I've got remember uh, step nine yesterday triple check 
Make sure you've got the essentials in your travel bag. Then we'll go get our bib, uh, bib check-in. Uh, but first, here we go. And we're riffing here. And I'm, I'm trying to find new places to film at the, uh, at the new house. So I, I decided to come out to the patio this morning. <sighs> Pikes Peak. I grew up in Buena Vista. I grew up watching my dad run this race. I grew up watching Matt Carpenter run this race, the record holder, okay, for the ascent, the marathon. I think he set the record in 92, 93, or 94, early 90s, let's just call it. I mean, we're talking about a, a course record that, I mean, that's just impressive. I mean, records fall. Records are set so that they may be broken. But this is, these are records that are just keep standing the test of time. So this mountain, this race, has been part of my life since really elementary school, middle school, okay? So we're, we're talking decades at this point. Then, last year, my goal was to win the race, okay? We got that done. And it was an amazing experience. I've shown you footage already in this vlog from last year's 2020 race. Uh, upper right hand corner if you want to see the entire vlog. It was pretty fun to film and edit for all of you. But now, my goal this year, 2021, was to race a, a, against the best, okay? I really wanted to race against everyone around the world, but especially, frankly, the Europeans. And because of COVID, uh, I don't believe most of them, in fact, I don't think any of them are coming over and here's my little strategy, all right, getting into strategy. I really don't study start list at, at all. Uh, I don't know who's gonna be there tomorrow. Why? Mental, okay? I can't control the weather. I can't control who shows up at the starting line. All I can control is how I arrive at the starting line, physically, mentally, spiritually, however you wanna break it down. So, I don't know who's gonna be there including, yes, the Europeans, including, I'll just say, Killian. I would love, I've, I've yet to race against Killian and I'd love to do it at some point, but it, I don't think it's gonna happen tomorrow. Who knows, I might be in the dark completely and he might be showing up tomorrow for all I know, but as far as I know, so that was a big goal of mine in 2021, was just to lace it up against, just to have fun against competitors um, who I know would, we would, we would battle, and I would likely lose. Who knows? Like, it's like, you never, it's like these guys are fast, and I've just never really had a chance to race against them, okay? So therefore, what I'm doing this year, and I'm not gonna talk too much longer here, is turn this into a, I, I, I'm calling it an FKT attempt in the sense of chasing down a personal record. Okay, now, whoever wants to hop on the choo-choo train for sub 210 to the top, let's go. Okay, 215, 220, I don't believe that's my range, all right? Last year, I think I ran around 209.30ish, 209.40ish to the top. Um, so if you wanna hop on the train, let's go. Choo-choo, all right, let's rock and roll up this mountain. Uh, that's my goal, is to turn this into a personal FKT, all right, mentally, especially. Meaning, I'm gonna let her rip, kind of like a Mount Elbert, or a Huron, or a Mount Antero, and just let it fly, really from the starting gun. And if you wanna go with me, let's rock and roll, okay? So that's my race day strategy. Now, again, there might be, there's probably gonna be a dark horse who shows up, who I have no clue who they are, and they might take it out the first couple miles, but at the end of the day, I have a lot of confidence in the work that I've put in this summer on Pikes Peak, especially with the weighted vest. Um, yeah, I'll just say, with the weighted vest. So I know I'm stronger this year, and it's been shown thus far in the FKTs that I've done up in the Collegiate Peaks. Now, I was beaten in the tune-up race up in Wyoming, which is fine, and I gotta tell you right now, the legs are feeling pretty darn fresh, okay? That's that, I'm gonna stop, let's go get my bags. I, you know me, I could talk all day. Let's go uh, grab my bags, say bye to the family, get the bib, get you the CD, the comment of the day, get you the QD, the question of the day. Oh, come on, Pikes Peak Marathon 2021. 
True Love just asked, what about butter for the bobo tomorrow morning? Hello. Oh, Brilliant. What are we doing here? Come on, are we rookies here? <laughs> Amateur hour? No. We are veterans of the bobo situation. Uh-huh. There it is. What kind of butter, my love? Kerrygold butter. Kerry Only gold. kind of butter. Only kind of butter. All right, we're gonna it go. So good, babe. We're gonna go say bye to the boys. Oh my gosh, how do you and keep your cool? All you racers. My stomach is like so tense. You guys keep your cool. We got this. I don't know how you do it. We got this. Trust. Okay, trust. trust. It's all about okay, trust. Let's go get those boys. Okay. So you don't have to carry them down. Oh, I don't have bye, boys. Bye. bye. I, I love, I'll see you at the race, okay, buddy? Okay. okay. Love you, boys. Mm. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh. Big hug. Big hug. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Ah, love you boys, all right? We'll see you at the finish line. Boom, boom, boom. for tomorrow morning. Thank you. Yeah, Contact person. Okay. And the phone number. And phone number. And I need to see your driver's license. Okay. We got it, everybody. 101. That's a good number. <laughs> yes, indeed. I will right, we'll see you. See you at the motel. Oh, looking good. There it is. We will take it. This is nice. Okay. Let's get you. Yeah, let's get you dead. Comment of the day, question of the day, closes out. Oh yeah, we got dinner packed in here. Comment of the day, question of the day. Once again, number 101, feeling, feeling good about that. Feeling real good about that, everybody. Okay, Amato Uloa, Amato Uloa says, one thing I always remember to pack is a smile. No matter how good or bad I do in a race, I always remember that I'm out there for fun and that smiling at your fellow competitors and especially the volunteers makes everything seem a little bit better. Amato could have said it better myself. Everybody out there, if you're racing this morning, make sure we all smile, okay? It's a privilege to do what we do. It's an honor. Ah, oh, it's just so exciting to share the trail with all of you up and down Pikes Peak. Sound good? All right, question of the day. Um, if you are racing Pikes Peak or if you race the ascent, but especially if you're racing the marathon, what is your hope for the race? Okay, what do you hope to, to gain from, and maybe it's nothing. Maybe you don't want to gain anything, but is there, maybe there's a special intention you're carrying with you up and down the mountain. Let us know down in the comments. And if you're not racing, how was your race or long run this weekend? Sound good? All right, love you guys. That's it. We will see you at the finish line. Sound good? Oh my goodness. We will toss it to last year's Pikes Peak Marathon. Right there, right there, right there. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. 
see you tomorrow.